Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from the Samara Arena and we are ready for the World Cup quarter-final. What a tie this is going to be. Germany against England. Such history between the two sides. Let's just hope it doesn't come down to penalties. Elsewhere, we have France taking on Uruguay. Brazil against Senegal. And Cristiano Ronaldo's Portugal taking on Croatia. Croatia being my dark horse team of the whole tournament. Could see them potentially going all the way if we, England, can't make it to the final. So Germany, what a team they have. They won the previous World Cup back in Brazil in 2014, which featured the likes of the prolific striker Mirislav Klose, who managed to surpass the Brazilian Ronaldo's World Cup record of 15 goals. He's, he smashed it by just one. 16 goals in total in all World Cup competitions that he's featured in. Such a, an, an amazing achievement. And now Germany, they'll be relying on the youngster Timo Werner to be bagging them the goals for the foreseeable future. Hopefully that's not going to be the case here for England because England, well, it's been a very long time since they've made it this far in the World Cup. Of course, we all know that it was England that overcame West Germany in that 1966 World Cup final. Ever since then, though, whenever these two teams have come head to head in important competitions, it's always seemed to have been Germany that comes out on top. And that guy there, Jaquim Lowe, who was heavily linked with a move to Arsenal in the summer, will be looking to get one over on England today. And he's got a very good chance of doing so as he does possess a team full of capable players. Thomas Muller, Ozil, Draxler, Werner going forwards. They've got Kadir and Chan in central midfield. And what a back four as well of Hummels and Kamish. But for England, again, they are without Harry Kane. He's out for the rest of the competition. Walker Stones, Kale and Bertrand at the back. It's Deli Ali, Dyer and Henderson in midfield. And going forwards, it is Jesse Lingard, Jamie Vardy and Raheem Sterling. Jordan Henderson just losing out to uh, Timo Werner there. And now Timo Werner is going to get his shot away as well. And his effort just swerves away from goal. Jack Butland did die for it, and we can see it at better angle here. Hits it on his left foot and just scuffs it wide. Jakim Lowe can't believe it. John Henderson now just looking for runners. And that's a poor pass. Thankfully, Draxler wasn't up to his feet quick enough as Henderson does recover. Here is Jamie Varney now, and he goes down. Hummels with the challenge. Nothing given by the referee. Not sure why. So here is Meza Ozil. Flags the ball back nicely to find Timo Werner. Here is Emery Chan now and Jordan Henderson goes in with a fantastic challenge on his Liverpool teammate. Now the referee stopping play and bucking Henderson. We've just seen a similar challenge on Jamie Vardy moments ago. Nothing was given then but the referee stopping play for that foul. We see it again. I think Jordan Henderson had the ball there. Tensions rising here. Stones to Ryan Bertrand now, space for him to stretch his legs. He's going to find Raheem Sterling now, plenty of space down the left side. Pulls it back, he's going to find Jamie Vardy, turns on it, on his left foot, Neuer saves, and it's Deli Alley. Deli Alley comes in, mops up, open goal. He can't miss and he doesn't, giving England the lead, 24 minutes on the clock in this World Cup quarter-final tie between England and Germany. Jamie Vardy had runners off to his left and behind but went for goal himself. Neuer down to it quick but he just couldn't get, get up to his feet quick enough as Deli Alley was there to roll the ball across the line. So there we go. England in the lead. Sterling. Bertrand. Dyer. Henderson. Sterling. Brilliant play here from England. They have their tails up now. Can we be looking at a second goal? Sterling went for goal. Walker's going to pick up the loose ball. And he's going to have a shot as well, which Neuer saves. Kadira to Draxler coming in a bit narrow here. And it's all back to Kadira. To pick out those pockets of space here. Mesut Ozil runs into one. And he gets taken down by Eric Dyer. It is a penalty. And the referee stopping play here. Warning Eric Dyer. No card shown. But there has been a penalty given in an England-Germany tie, of course. Ozil making a meal out of that. Jaquim Lowe got his wish, got the penalty for his team. And it's going to be Timo Werner 
and steps up to take it. One on one with Jack Butland. Right before half time, Jesse Lingard with an injury as well. Timo Werner makes it 1 1 straight down the middle, showing such confidence that he could get the job done. And what a time to get the equaliser right before the break. All still to play for in this World Cup quarter final. Well, there we go, it's half time. Germany found a way back into this game. Some of the England players can't quite believe some of the decisions made by this referee so far. Germany then looking to start the second half as they finish the first. Here is Timo Werner. Does well to turn on the ball there. Werner does well, finds Muller. And it's not the best of shots. It's easily saved by Butland. So off goes Jesse Lingard then to be replaced by his Manchester United teammate, Marcus Rashford Lingard, with a bit of a knock. It doesn't look too good for him at the moment. Cahill coming forwards. Finds Henderson over the top here for Marcus Rashford. Sterling has switched over to the right. Rashford pulling it back. Finds Sterling. Sterling first time and gets a second go and makes it 2-1 to England. He looked to caress the ball into the back of the net, which Neuer saved first time. But with it rebounding back out to his feet, well, it was Curtains. He had to score. He couldn't miss. And he put it into the back of the net. It's 2-1 England against Germany. Rashford did well, so unselfish, to find Raheem Sterling inside that six-yard area. It's a simple finish. Neuer just couldn't get to his feet quick enough. And Yakrim Lowe finds his team behind once again. So England's sitting pretty deep here. They've got plenty of men behind the ball. And it's Cruz that finds Meza Ozil. Hits that with his left foot and makes it 2-2. It's game on. Game on. From Germany's point of view, I mean, we're just moments removed from England's second goal. And just like that, Germany right back in. It's 2-2. This game could still go either way. There's still a bit of time remaining. And at the moment, it's looking like we could be heading into extra time and potentially penalties if it keeps up like this. So unfortunate for Jack Butler. There was nothing stopping that. Nothing at all. Germany come once again. Timo Werner to Thomas Muller. Cruz Muller linking up perfectly here. Space now for Draxler who goes down. Nothing given. The referee says no penalty. Draxler's still on the ball. Carl Walker got to be so careful here. Oh, and he does so well to win the ball back here. Carl Walker going to set Raheem Sterling free here. And set him loose down the right side. Raheem Sterling in for Jordan Henderson and he puts his effort over the goal here is Timo Werner seems to be seeing a lot of the ball at the moment Hector all oh, does brilliantly to find a way into the box but Butman saves it's getting tense now for England Jordan Henderson on to Rashford in the penalty area Rashford does well brings it in for Sterling this time it's saved by Neuer it's end to end action here as we're nearing the end of the 90 minutes here is Marcus Rashford now pulls the ball back has a shot on goal and it hits the side netting here is Leon Goretzka oh he's done well there to bypass Deli Alley, and Goretzka can hit them Butland rooted to the spot and he's very fortunate for England that that didn't end up in the, uh, the top right hand corner Jordan Henderson goes off to be replaced by Ruben Loftus-Cheek what can he bring to this game here is Carl Walker Walker, is he going to go it alone? Walker is going to go it alone. He's found an opening here. Walker brings it in for Loftus-Cheek. It's Rashford! It's 3-2 to England. 89 minutes, surely. That is the winning goal, which will send England through to the World Cup semi-final. Carl Walker does so well. Pulls the ball back. Ruben Loftus-Cheek has a shot, it's deflected and it falls to the feet of Rashford. Great control and hits it. Neuer unable to save it. It's 3-2 England. Can Germany do it again? Can they pull this game back? Can they get an equaliser? Can they make it 3-3? Boateng hits it first time and Butland saves. It's a corner. It's getting very tense now. We still believe 
England have done it. They have overcome the World Cup winners from 2014 Germany. It's finished 3-2 here thanks to Marcus Rashford's goal in the 89th minute. And they are heading to the World Cup semi-final. But who will England be playing? Portugal or Croatia? Let's find out. Let's take a look at the tournament tree then. So France and Brazil won their quarterfinal ties against their respected opponents. And it's France that advanced through to the World Cup final. Who will be joining them? Will it be England or will it be Croatia? That's right, we've got to overcome Croatia in the semi-final. That, of course, will be the next episode. Join me for that. You don't want to miss it.